Jensen Lafosse, and I'm a researcher here at Kimball High. In my field of work, I study the mechanics of an elastic supply. Now, what you have learned in your economics class is that an elastic supply occurs when a good or surface has a price change. However, the quantity of the supply does not. For example, house lots are being sold in your area. Let's say they're building five houses every 10 months. However, due to the economy, the producers of these house lots must bring their prices down. Even so, producers of these houses will continue to build five houses regardless of price. For a better visual example, we will present to you a graph. On the right side of the graph, we'll plot the prices per house. These will be by the thousands. On the bottom of the graph, we'll write the quantity supply. We'll plot these numbers by five. Let's say these houses started at 90,000, but due to the economy, producers are forced to bring their prices down to 30,000. Even though this price change occurs, producers do not change the amount of houses they supply, but continue to build the five houses they are scheduled to build. Looks like I have to fill up my tank again. <laughs> that sucks. Not to mention price for gas is high nowadays. I know, right? I hate how they like change the prices every time. It's like almost four dollars this week. There really isn't anything you can do about it. I mean, think about it. If gas stations began to sell the gasoline at a lower price, a lot of people will buy it. I know I will. But there's a problem with that. There's only so much gasoline a company can produce that can keep up with the with the demand. So regardless of price, they can only produce the same amount of gas been producing. Although you hate the high pricing, you can't help but to buy gas because you need it for your car. Does this apply to other things? Let's say I owned a shoe company and I produce 100 pairs every two months. What? Where the f*** did you get that? And I'm selling my shoes for $10 a pair, but then I have to increase the price to $15. I can only produce and sell so many shoes in the short term, no matter what happens to the price. So even though the price changed, I still can only produce 100 pairs of shoes. Oh, okay, I get it now. So, wait. How did you know all that? You learned it in class today, remember? An elastic supply. We're supposed to make projects about it. <laughs> well, there you have it. I hope this helped you understand the complexities of an elastic supply. We will now return your attention back to the class. Bye.